What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Spencer. Taking a look at pure Synchron. So I showed a couple of combos yesterday. One was the Adventure. And Adventure's fine. Like, it's definitely going to be a popular build. But pure, I think, is just more fun in general. And I would rather just, like, make sure I go through the Junk Speeder lines because they're incredible. So this looked like a weird hand at first. It was, like, Fenrir and Synchro Overdrive. But those are actually full combo, like, better than full combo. Those are the two cards. If you could start like that every time, you would. Because, you know, you're going to potentially bait out an Ash like I just did. Which is fantastic because people think you're playing Cash Tira. Cash Tira Fenrir. I mean, unreal. It's good going first and second and like even more so in this deck. But yeah, you Synchro Summon into Psyframe and that triggers Jet Synchron. It's one of the only cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! that searches Junk Converter. So you can obviously go ahead and do that as long as you have one other tuner in your hand. So that obviously they lost the Ash. I already hand ripped them for one. And then Dispater is going to bring it back again anyways. So that's obviously very good. So that I'm going to rip another card out of their hand. And I can just go full combo after this. <laughs> this is awesome. Because then you can end up going for Baron at the end and all these other really fun cards. Like the ceiling just increases so much. I get a free draw. You know, some, you wish it's like a hand trap or something. It doesn't really matter ultimately. But there goes Illumination. Yeah, Th This is like a, a hybrid between like a combo I saw with MBT and just like a amalgamation of everything else. And then my own little spin on it. Like the Yang Zing stuff I don't see very like too, too often. This was something that was in the comment section of my last video. And like instead of Clear Wing, I think in the rest of the videos I do go into Clear Wing. I just really like that card to be honest with you and I want the Coast Rare version. But you know, the better option here is Majestic Star Dragon. It's an Omni Negate that also blows up your opponent's board. And I think it brings back Stardust Dragon during the end phase two after the effect, which is pretty cool. Like I love Stardust Dragon. But yeah, my opponent unfortunately quit, but I did, uh, I was able to go to Baron, and then I did still, after all that, have Revolution Synchron to bring this back, and then I can go into the Yang Zing, which searches the counter trap. I don't bring the card that comes out after Yang Zing, it's like literally not necessary, you're gonna have a thousand monsters on the board with like all at least 3,000 attacks, so it's not really a problem at all, and that's pretty darn neat. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these other ones. This is a match I had against... Punk and so, something I've realized is that the side frame rips are definitely a skill issue, hundred percent. You know, if you if you're good at the deck, you're gonna rip your opponent's going second card. So this was, you know, I was playing a game here against Punk. This was game one, so I didn't know what I was playing at this point. I'm just kind of going regular combo. Fenrir is incredible. Like even if you don't have Synchro Overdrive, you can still see do some like really amazing stuff. You just end up using it for Baron. You always like pretty much have an extra tune or three out on the board. And you know, when you have Fenrir, you obviously just get to use it. Alright, so yeah, this card's <laughs> Stardust Trail. It's like actually it's the one card that you really don't want to see, unfortunately. It's just like a major brick. If you see it in your hand, like sometimes you can like normal summon it in the right circumstances, but yeah, it's it's pretty rough when you see it. I've thought about like playing it at two, to be honest with you. And there we go. There goes one card. It's the Ash, right? I, I was able to chain block, and you have to, even with like Jet Synchron. You know, the the best version is the Junk Converter when you get your starter, because then Junk Converter brings something back. It's great to chain block, but you know, you almost want to use the effect of Jet Synchron to bring itself back. But you like Revolution Synchron does the same thing, and most of the time you don't need both. And it's way worth it, right? Ash is one of the most commonly used cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Your opponent is waiting. If they know Junk Converter's coming, or the Junk Speeder, so they're going to wait to use it, you know, on that part. So you're, like, pretty much safe leading up to the Junk part. And then if you can just chain block, you win the duel, because then you just soul charge for four, and, like, obviously that's just it. So my opponent beat me in uh, game two, and then this is our game three. You can tailor end your end boards. You can do, put some really cool tech cards. You'll see here. This is just straight up full combo. I was trying to bait Ash, and he didn't um, end up having anything. So I can go ahead and normal summon. It's always good to have a two because those, again, you have the extra three. So level five, the Yang Zing is kind of like the perfect synchro monster for this deck. I get the free draw there. It's ready, set, go. I can actually activate it because I think after a couple turns, it's like speed counters. You get to draw two cards, which is kind of cool. It'll never come up. It's mostly used for the search effect, but you know, you might as well activate it. I think I do because I drew it. There we go. There goes the Crimson Dragon. And uh, again, like I think I go into Clear Wing. It's such a cool looking card. It's like one of the best design looking boss monsters. It's terribly designed because it's almost impossible to bring out. But, you know, luckily Crimson Dragon is like one of the coolest cards ever printed. I love cards that can cheat things out of the extra deck. 
I just like boss monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh, as you might tell. And look at that. Skill, you know, definitely a skill issue. I even had the answer, though. Like, it didn't really matter because, you know, for the Dark Ruler. But it just, you know, it's nice to be able to use this in something else. For a second, I thought he was going to go into Millennium Eyes. And I was like, yeah, probably not. Yeah, he's going to try to go for Zeus. But this is a counter trap. And these cards are just, counter traps are so good, obviously. And it's just searchable through the deck. I think he's going to search the trap. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. This is unaffected by, you know, card effects now, which I guess is pretty neat. But... I think this only activates if I, like, you know, special summon a monster. Not going to you know, matter. The Dark Ruler, of course, still does nothing. I can bring the Stardust Trail back to the graveyard. And, like, you can do some really cool stuff, right? I could trigger, like, the Psy Frame and then shuffle it back. And then, you know, you can just, like, keep, like, shuffling, like, random synchros back into the, the extra deck if you need to. But it, it, most of the time, it'll never, ever get there. But Shen Shen is really cool because it kind of gives you insurance against Forbidden Droplets, right? Your opponent's always going to want to, like, activate a spell and then chain. But, you know, with Shen Shen, they have to discard from hand. And that's obviously, like, you know, just destroying your opponent's resources. Okay, so this was a game I had against Cash Tira. Kind of interesting. Of course, like, the Biru is the number one card you want to see against Cash Tira. I think my opponent gets pretty greedy. Honestly, I think if he had just gone for the Arise Heart Pass, he would have won. So that's a bit unfortunate for him. Like, you can usually put out, like, one Synchro if you're under Shifter or something like that. It, it's really not great. It's a deck that obviously really needs its graveyard. And there goes Arise Heart and Shangri Era. All I need, I think, is just one more summon. Yeah, I think he's going to go for Fenrir. And then see you later, right? I know the next card. I'm not going to wait. Um, I'd rather just, you know, destroy those now. This has 4,000 attack. That's pretty cool. And then here we go. It's just full combo, right? You have to play this card. I think whether or not you're playing, I don't know, like any version. This card is just too good. It's a one-card junk speeder, which is akin to an FDK. Now, you did have Ash, but that's where Revolution Synchron comes in. I can make Crystal Wing, which is great. And then I can change that into Stardust. And that's pretty neat, right? Like, uh, it obviously protects me from the field spell at the very least. And I think, you know, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon just kind of clears Cash Tira. Uh, because it negates and destroys. I think I also have one. Let's see. I can go to this uh, Altergeist. I'm only going to show maybe like a couple more. I think Altergeist and I'll show Rescue Ace. But you kind of get the idea. You can do some pretty interesting stuff. And like obviously Fenrir is just super duper important. This is a really good opening. Uh, like although I don't have a tuner. So it could be bad. But Synchro Overtake I think helps me get there. Okay, that's going to get impermed, right? Just so good. Your opponent has no idea what you're playing. Also, like, you know, there's just pressure. Like, Fenrir, like, by itself puts pressure on. So I can get over this. So, like, if you bounce it back to the hand, it really doesn't matter. And then there we go. Like, Synchro Overtake is so necessary, in my opinion. Uh, there we go. And then I can just, like, you know, bring out 30,000 monsters. I think I probably should have gone for the level 2 instead of Jet Synchron, if I'm being honest. But... I think I'm still able to do some like pretty decent stuff. And there goes Clear Wing. So like I said, I think if this was Majestic, probably be a little bit better, but it's okay. Like the good thing about Clear Wing, you know, it's not just one Omni to gate for spells and traps. It does last forever. So you can just like keep using it, you know. You know, if you let's say like you used it and then your opponent like set four back row, that'd be kind of bad. You know, Clear Wing at least you kind of get the more negates. And then I'll just show one more. This is the full combo, right? Against Rescue Ace, my opponent gonna have a really hard time love this card quick launch it can either bring out a level four monster recharger which is like good to go into junk speeder or you can bring out you know <laughs> randomly the rockets have a synchron rocket synchron something you would never expect but it works really well it helps you like stay like really um like nimble and like what level that you need to go into this monster draw an extra card yeah like again if your opponent wastes a card through whatever means either like you a wasted hand trap or you have called by the grave your opponent is going to start with three cards in their hand and that's just really hard to do things in Yu-Gi-Oh! like no matter what era you're from right i know there's like a lot of uh like modern Yu-Gi-Oh! has got a lot of stuff and i even have the omni negate here but even then you know even then i don't think i think this is a pretty darn good end board and there we go right you that flexibility is so important there goes another one i can bring this back see you later <laughs> And I can go ahead and pass churn. So monster negate, spell negate, omni negate. He goes for the hydrant. I'm just going to go ahead and negate there. I don't know what the set card is. It'd actually been really cool if that was triple tactic. That would have like totally, um, that would have gotten me there. That would have been a five-headed play to like set that first. But yeah, that is uh, this 
Synchron deck. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's, that's going to do it for today's video, and I will see you guys next time.